Some know her as Auntie Flo. According to your grandmama, it's On the Rag, which originated in the 19th century, Shark Week, Carrie, The Red Wedding. It's your period, your time of the month, a new beginning of your lunar phase, which, but what? really is your period. Like, why do we bleed out of our bits? Maybe health class taught you this stuff, or maybe you got the gist from your aunties at home. But research shows that both young and grown humans don't have the practical understanding they need to stay healthy and feel confident about their periods. That's why at Honeypot, we've got the down low on your down below. We're talking all things periods, period. You might be embarrassed to talk about your period because, oh, our patriarchal society has taught us that our periods are shameful since pretty much the dawn of time. May the sacred flow of your menses topple the patriarchy and bind you to the goddess. But your period means your body is working and our bodies are amazing. Your first period usually occurs between the ages of 10 and 14 years old. My first period, I got it in the fifth grade during a field trip at the bowling alley. I had to wad up a bunch of toilet paper and wait till I went home. I was out riding bikes and having fun with all my friends. I got home and my underwear was full of blood. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have broken myself on my bike. I was in sixth grade and I was not feeling great that morning, but I also had a test in first period. I think I was the first one done handed it in and went straight to the nurse. I remember being at dance class and at the end of class went to the bathroom and saw red, brown. I think I felt relieved by it um, just because there was so much anxiety that I felt around getting my period. I remember being extremely excited that I was gonna get it. I would constantly talk to my mommy about my period. My mommy was very sweet. She made it a celebration, it was beautiful. If your period hasn't come by age 15, don't panic, it's not uncommon, but you may want to talk to your doctor. So what kicks off your period in the first place? In the first stages of puberty, parts of your brain start telling your body to create hormones. These new hormones boost the growth of tissues in our bodies, like breast, and your mons pubis becomes a magical forest of pubic hair. Don't know what your mons pubis is? Let's talk anatomy. These are the external parts of your genital organs. Your vaginal opening is where your period comes out during menstruation. Did you hear that, y'all? Your period comes out of your vagina. This whole outside part, not actually your vagina. The real action is happening all up in there. Above your vagina is an opening called the cervix that opens, closes, and changes position during your cycle. Hormones send a signal to your ovaries to release an ovum, aka an egg. The uterus has a lining, and if your egg is fertilized by a sperm, the egg will implant into the lining and eventually grow into a fetus, then a baby. If the ovum isn't fertilized, then the lining is like, I'm outie, and it sheds through your cervix and vagina as blood, fluids, and tissue. So that's your period. And that's when I grab myself some ice cream and some spicy pads. This whole thing is actually four phases that kick off on the first day of our period, and that's why it's called your cycle. Somehow, I got on that woman's cycle of menstruation, and I got that menstruation inside of me. Your first period could be a lot shorter and lighter than your periods in the future. It might be irregular at first, meaning you may not know when the next one is coming. So now we're just chilling, pumping out hormones, and having our period every 28 days or so for the next 40 years of our lives. Once your period is regular, you're dealing with about four to six teaspoons of blood, fluids, and tissue for two to seven days. Your period might be thick or lumpy. It might be red and runny. It might be brown. It might be stringy and sticky. That's all normal, but something's gotta hold all that blood. Let's get into products. Pads, liners, tampons, cups. Pads and liners catch the blood outside of your body. The Honeypot companies are made of a plant-derived, ultra-absorbent core and a 100% organic cotton cover. They have an adhesive underside that sticks to your undies. Some have wings that fold over your underwear to make sure it stays in place and help prevent leaking out the sides. If you find yourself in the period aisle confused about different absorbency levels, of course I've got you. Regular pads are for medium flow days, super are for heavy flow days, and overnight pads are for your time spent in dreamland, boo. What kind of flow do you got going? A uh, heavy flow situation? Heavy. Oh my God. Or a light flow or extra chunky? I, I, I got confused, I'm getting peanut butter also. Some trial and error may be necessary to find the right one for you, and you might need different absorbency levels for different days of your period. A smaller, thinner pad is called a panty liner. You can use them when you're not bleeding enough for a whole pad. 
Some humans wear a panty liner if they're worried a method that goes inside your vagina might leak. Pads and panty liners can be good for people who aren't comfortable putting something inside their vagina. Speaking of up your vagina, let's talk tampons. Tampons catch the blood inside of your body and absorb it before it can come out. Tampons are inserted into your vaginal opening and an applicator pushes the tampon up into your vagina. If you're new to tampons, try squatting or putting one leg on the toilet seat for an easier insertion. It shouldn't feel uncomfortable and you should have a little string hanging out for removal. When you want it out, just pull. Honeypot has regular, super, and super plus tampons. I can't help it if I've got a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. We recommend changing your tampon every four hours to limit the growth of harmful bacteria that can cause infections. Don't flush tampons, pads, or liners down the toilet, unless you want a funky visit from your plumber. Menstrual cups are also inserted into the vagina. Honeypot's cups are made of 100% medical grade silicone. The cups fit around your cervix and catch the blood. Honeypot has them in two different sizes depending on your age or if you've had a baby. You'll need to change your cup at least every 12 hours. Once you think it's full, remove the cup and dump it. They're reusable too, just remember to keep it clean. As you become more familiar with your period, you'll figure out what works best for you. What's best for someone else might not be what's best for you, and that's your business, okay? Now for some rapid fire, frequently asked questions. Can I have sex during my period? Mm -hmm. And some people kind of like it, and it can help with symptoms for some folks. Can I get pregnant during my period? Yes, you can. How much blood is too much blood? If you're changing your pad or tampon after less than two hours, are bleeding longer than seven days, or have blood clots bigger than a quarter, you should talk to your doctor. Should I keep track of my period dates? Yes, it'll help you know what to expect and when. It will help you know when and if your period becomes regular, and if it's not regular, you'll need to talk to your doctor to find out why. Well, damn, that's a whole lot of stuff about periods, and there's so much more that we didn't even cover in this video. None of this is meant to take the place of a doctor's advice, so be sure to keep your doc in the loop. No two bodies are the same. There are so many unique factors that make up why our bodies do what they do. Just remember, your period is all natural, and it's incredible. Period pride, y'all. The one thing I could say to somebody having their first period is buckle up. I think the journey for having your period is going to be a lot of ups and downs. Also, don't let anybody tell you that what you're experiencing when you have your period, that you're overreacting or that you're being dramatic. Speak up if it happens. Let someone know. Ask questions. Get the right supplies that you need. Periods are amazing because it's a unique experience for everyone. We're all different. How I feel about my period now is completely different. We're on good terms, we're good friends now. Everything's gonna be all right. It's gonna be with you for a long time. So it's really important to make peace with your period. There's more info about your bits coming at you in the next episode. But until then, stay sweet, honeybee.